So in this video, um, I'm going to demonstrate about producer consumer in um, um, producer consumer in in Python. So this one is one of the videos in um, Python threading series. So uh, it won't relate to how to use um, threads, how to use um, lock. And if you don't know about the concept, please check my uh, previous video. So the producer consumer, uh, of course, this one is a, it's simplest form again will be um will be um something that we expect something like this the producer can produce one and consumer are gonna consume one producer produce two consumer consume two producer can produce three three then four four five five so on and so forth this one is what we expected but due to threading or multiple threading and uh, things may run in different speed um and, and in parallel so you might produce one then the consumer will consume you know, one but then producer takes some time to produce then consumer will consume uh, continue to consume again and it's going to consume the um old values then the producer produce two then it's con uh, consumer can consume two then uh, because the producer is slow so the consumer again gonna consume the another values, so on and so forth over there. Okay, then um, in this case we don't have the expected pattern. Then we need to um, do some locking or control in order to um, um, have the producer um, consumer behavior. So in this case I'm going to use Python to demonstrate this producer consumer um, behavior here. So we're going to create um, the pattern which is producer consumer. Okay, and we're going to first create the class. That class is called producer consumer here. And then um, um, we're going to have in it, and it's going to have sub dot value uh, equal to minus one. So by default, it's it's uh, gonna have minus one over here. Gonna define a method which is to um, produce. Then when it's produced, it's going to make a for loop for i in range uh, five, and it's going to um, set self dot values equal to um, i okay okay let's say i plus one then okay well, because we're saying um so let's just do it here over here so produce one starting from one okay then um then because this one it takes some time so we're going to say uh, so, uh time we're going to import here import time okay so we'll take some time to produce a time dot sleep it's gonna take two seconds to um, continue for the next uh, production or next produce okay and you're going to just print out um, produce and this one is called um, f i plus one over here okay then um, similarly we're going to define a method dab uh, consume sorry and for this consume it's also do i in range five then this one trying to um sub dot uh, print consume set dot values okay it's gonna consume that values that the producer produced to it okay then let's see then it's uh take some time for it to continue to uh, consume so when you say time dot sleep uh let's say one second it will it will need to take some time to uh, really finish consuming this value okay before the um, next consumption but it's somehow faster than the um, producer time so in this case um, in this case we're going to this case we're going to um, create the thread to demonstrate this one so so um, 
because we create two thread to produce and consume in parallel parallel using threading so i'm going to import um so from um, concurrent dot future dot um import uh thread pull executor again if you don't know what thread pull executor is please check my um previous email uh sorry previous um video in, in in this series in this playlist so who is all um we'll create a um, um, producer consumer option producer consumer okay then we're going to say with uh, three pull executor um, max workers equal to two as executor and we're going to submit two job um, executor dot submit pc dot produce first then executor dot submit pc dot consume so it's going to produce and consume produce and consume here in parallel okay and if we don't do the synchronizations or uh, carefully this producer consumer uh, will not work okay so let's say if we run this one it's produce one consume one then it's consume one again then produce two consume two uh, consume two again okay produce three consume three then it's produce four consume four uh, um i produce four and produce five so you can see that it's consume one twice okay it's also consume two twice okay then it's consume three once and it's never uh, have a chance to consume four and five okay and because you know this one okay so uh this one consume one twice consume two twice consume three once and never have the chance to consume four and five so this one is um is the error if we use multi-threading uh without care without uh, good synchronization so in this case in order to overcome this issues we're going to use lock again and this kind of lock we're going to create um two locks for for our method the first one is self dot um producer lock equal to lock we're gonna create a lock and this one we need to import import threading we'll say this one is threading dot lock okay then self dot consumer lock um equal to threading dot lock again if you don't understand what lock is please check my video in this um list and by default we don't um allow our system to um we don't allow our system to consume before producing so by default when we start the pipeline or the producer consumer we say set dot um consumer lock dot acquire we take the we take away the uh, consumer lock so it's not going to be able to um to consume first so just to make sure that it will not be able to consume then before producing we need to acquire for the uh, consuming uh, producing lock before producing we need to acquire it for um the uh, producer lock so we'll say self dot p lock dot acquire okay we need to acquire for the um lock first that won't do okay then um after finish complete producing we can after complete producing we can um it's safe to uh, tell the consumer that you can consume now so we say set dot c clock dot uh, release we release the consumer lock so that the consumer can consume by now okay then um similar for the consumer before before um before um what do i say consuming you need to acquire for the lock first so you say set dot uh, consuming lock dot acquire if you have the lock then you can consume okay you can consume then um 
after that uh, after finish consuming you can um, say the producer allow the pr producer to produce so you say p.log.release okay you release that lock so that it allows the producer to produce okay so in this case um, you can use the uh, lock produce and consume a lock to implement that pattern so if we run this one so it's produce one consume one then produce two consume two produce three consume three produce four consume four and produce five consume five see then then it's finished so this one works well for the producer producer consumer um, sequence or producer consumer pattern okay so the main points will be the main point will be we have the two locks over here for the producer and the consumer and by default you do not allow the consumer to consume okay because we haven't done the producing so first we uh, do the producing and in order to do the producing you need to have the producer lock and if you finish producing you now can allow the consumer to consume by releasing that lock similarly before consuming you need to acquire it for the consumer lock okay and if you have that lock you can consume then after finish consuming you can uh, now allow the producer to continue to produce to, to produce so you say um, release the producer lock that's why you have to good nice pattern okay and in the next videos i think uh, i will compare between uh, multi-threading multi-processing and um, asynchronous behavior asynchronous execution behavior